In this video, I'm going to show you how to purchase a domain name, which is your website address. So in this case, my domain name is asknickfoy.com. So if you're a real estate agent, for example, you might have real estate agent joe.com or lisa sells houses.com or some sort of domain that tells people you're a realtor, you're a real estate agent without using any of the actual trademarks in the real estate industry to get you in trouble. Uh, so a lot of times just using your own name. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're, I'm going to show you a quick site I go to to buy my domain names where they're fairly inexpensive. You can buy a domain on any hosting account uh, when you're setting up website hosting which is a whole nother video but I like to buy my domain names from an actual domain registrar so they're called Namecheap uh, basically because you can buy cheap domain names on this website so you can come here to asknickfoy.com you can go to my resource library tab here and then you just scroll down here and click on Namecheap now it's going to load the Namecheap page here which has this search bar where you can look for specific domain ideas that you come up with. So you want to maybe write down a list of 5, 10 different domains that you would potentially want to be your website URL. Uh, so in this case I have nickfoyrealestate.com as my example here. So what we're going to do is just click the search button. They're going to search the registrar to see if anybody's ever taken this domain name before. If not then it should be available for purchase. So as you can see here, we got the blue check mark. It says that nickfoyrealestate.com is available for $8.88 a year. So it's very inexpensive. It's less than 10 bucks a year to buy a domain name. So what we're going to do is click add to cart. We're going to go through the checkout. We're going to purchase nickfoyrealestate.com. Now you can also test out other domains if yours happens to be taken. Uh, so if you did, you know, your name sells homes, like if I said nicksellshomes.com, that one might be already taken. So since I used my first and last name, nickfoyrealestate.com, that was not taken. So just a couple tips for you there. But if you find out the domain you try to purchase is already taken, just click that back button, go back to the search bar, start typing in other ideas that you come up with. So take a day brainstorm some different domain name ideas, then come here to Namecheap, search those different ideas to see if they're available, and then you can click add to cart and check out. Now once you've purchased your domain name, you're gonna log into your account, you're gonna create an account, a username and password, you're gonna log in, you've got a dashboard, you've also got this domain list where you can see all the different domains that you purchase. So today I'm also gonna be showing you how to connect your domain to your hosting account because once you purchase your domain name, it doesn't mean you're gonna have a website that's live, you actually have to go in and buy website hosting and connect the two together. Your domain name is separate from website hosting, but if you're on your website hosting account, you can also sometimes sign up for domain names there as well. I just like to do it on Namecheap because they're a lot cheaper usually than going through your hosting account. So we're going to scroll down the domain list. I already purchased one called golfpracticetemplates.com right here. So what we're going to do now, we're going to hop back over to my resource tab here. And you're going to come here to the resource library. And you're just going to scroll down the resource library until you find my SiteGround resource. But I'm also going to go here and type asknickfoy.com slash SiteGround, S-I-T-E, ground. We're going to click enter. And that's going to redirect me over to SiteGround. SiteGround is a web hosting company. Uh, so they allow your website to basically rent space on the internet so that it can be live and functioning. And then you've got to connect what domain you're going to be using for your website to your hosting account so that your hosting account knows, you know, where is your website going to be live at. So you got to tell it that new domain that you just purchased. So we're going to buy website hosting. We're just going to pick out a plan here. So we want WordPress hosting if you're going to have a WordPress website. So we just click this get started button here. They're going to ask which plan you want to pick. So it starts $3.95 a month. I have the grow big plan. This allows me to have unlimited websites. So if I want to connect multiple domains to my hosting account and run multiple websites, or maybe I've got a couple different websites that I put on different real estate signs that could forward to one of my main websites. You know, if I have one general headquarter website and then I have some other domains out there I use on advertising 
uh, to try to generate buyer leads or seller leads. And I have those redirect to the same headquarter website. So you can have multiple domain names if you go with the grow big plan. Uh, but if you're starting out, you're just going to be a single website. You can get started as low as $3.95 a month. Normally it is $11.95. So you're, you know, getting this like 60, 70% off. Uh, same goes here. You're paying six bucks a month instead of $20 a month on the grow big plan. So you want to take advantage of the special price going on. All you got to do is go to my resource page or type in asknickfoy.com slash site ground. So once you purchase your plan, you're going to log into your account. So you're going to log in here to the home tab. And what we're going to do is go over to the my accounts tab. In the my accounts tab, you're going to click on this little orange C panel button right here that says go to C panel. And it's going to open up your back back end settings basically for your hosting account. So what we're going to want to do is the very top here says domains. You can actually drag these around if you want to reorganize your back end settings. Uh, but by default, this domains tab is up here at the very top. So you want to find the one that says add on domains because we're going to add a domain to our hosting account. All right, it's going to ask you to create your add on domain. So what is our domain name? Well, it is the golf practice templates.com and it's going to check to see if that's a valid domain. Uh, so once you've purchased your domain and have it in your name cheap account, then the, then you want to come over here and type it in here. All right. If you just click away for a second, it'll auto fill in these next two boxes for you. And then you can set your own password or you can use a suggested password. So I'm going to go ahead and click this password generator button. Now they're going to give me a password that I'm going to copy and then we're going to click use password here. Now it's going to ask you to confirm that you have copied this password and put it in a secure location for the future so you don't forget it. So you could open up, you know, some sort of password manager on your computer or your phone and, you know, save it there. Now once you click the use password button, it's going to fill it in here. And then all we're going to do is click the add domain button. Once you see all these green check boxes, you're ready to go. All right, they're going to go ahead and create an FTP account in the back end of your hosting account. This is what's going to store all of your website files. So now that we've connected our domain name to our hosting account, now we need to install WordPress to our hosting account, to our domain name, so that our hosting account can start storing all of our website files from our WordPress. So what we're going to do next is head over into a new video where I'm going to show you how to download and install WordPress to your newly added domain name that you just hooked up to your, your hosting account.